Montclair is not a discounted product, is it? No, but Montclair is a brilliantly run brand because essentially there's all this collection on the website. It looks like a, there's a vast assortment, but there isn't really. Do you know what Montclair is selling? A puffer jacket, and it's selling a premium puffer jacket. And it keeps its stock perennial, keeps it very tight. All the frou-frou stuff around it is just to get magazines to cover it. The rest of the like time... Like the kilt, for instance. Like the kilt. No one's buying that kilt. It's very much like Vuitton, where 70% of its inventory is completely perennial. Montclair, deep down, is just a company. Deep that down, them. they want to dress the whole family. How about the <laughs> nine months old, $345 infant baby boy? It's the Aw Bear hooded jacket. It's really pretty. I, like I just that. bought two of those for my seven and five year old grandkids. We're talking about the wrong stuff, guys. This has got nothing to do with brands, it's got nothing to do with price. As Edward de Bono said, there's no point being brilliant at the wrong thing. Right. And pricing is the wrong thing. What this are we talking about? Mark. Kevin Roberts, Saatchi and Saatchi, what are we talking this about? This Montclair oozes three things. Mystery, sensuality, and intimacy. It delivers fantastic product, doesn't it? It delivers yeah, yeah. great quality, great benefits, great attributes, but it delivers priceless value. My You've daughter in Italian. <laughs> if I said that, I'd be punched. Say that again. Priceless. priceless value. Not price. You're all talking about the wrong stuff. This is delivering a dream. My daughter in law is Italian. She dreams about Montclair. Well, that's the thing, Hans. Montclair is listing in Italy, in Milan, and it's really depending on Italy for a lot of its sales right now, isn't it? Yeah, 25% in Italy. This is one of the hardest hit countries from recession. 25% in Italy, uh, but it is aspirational. The goal here is to get everyone, and they're selling a lot in Asia to the newbie rich. It's aspirational. You want to wear something and you want to show other people that you can afford. It's the whole luxury space, but IPO, it's back, at least in Italy. Biggest IPO since 2010. People was, over here are talking about the, the sort of the crisis being over. The crisis being over, well, Montclair has setting its sights on something bigger than Italy, certainly going for the luxury consumer out in Asia as well.